Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Well, here lately I've been uploading uh, new videos on Tuesday with some sort of RV repair, RV upgrade, truck maintenance, that sort of thing. Um, and sometimes these videos kind of write themselves. So <laughs> earlier today I went to the fridge to get a cold drink and when I opened it, the uh, bottom hinge broke. Let me show you. Okay, so basically, um, this Norcold fridge has this little plastic piece and this pin, this pin is threaded onto this metal bracket and this plastic, it goes up in this plastic piece. Well, it broke off, this whole piece broke off and I glued it um, with some Gorilla Glue, but it's not gonna be near strong enough. So um, right now it's, the only thing holding the door on right now is the pin in the top and the fact that it's pushed against the seal uh, closed. But um, you can't order this bottom piece. You can order the end pieces on both ends, but you can't order the bottom piece. And this little hinge point is, is molded into here and it just broke off. And um, it's pretty common. I, there's videos all over YouTube showing how to fix this um, in different methods, but I'll show you what I'm going to do today. Okay, so we're here in a little tiny town in Oregon. Um, the nearest big box hardware store is, I don't know, 40 plus miles away. So I went up to the little mom and pop um, hardware store and I picked up a hinge. And basically what I'm gonna do is cut this. So I'm gonna cut this, this piece of the hinge off because I just need a plate. I'll use one of these holes to write in the pin. And then I'm gonna drill the appropriate holes and screw this plate up to the bottom of this fridge door. And that's kind of the method that I've seen the most often used to repair this, but I couldn't find a suitable piece of aluminum or, or any, anything like that to use. So this was kind of the thickest, um, best thing I could find. So we're gonna make it work. It'll probably outlast the fridge, but um, the only way to get this piece from Norcold is to order a new door, fridge door, and they're like 150 bucks. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, so let me uh, get this cut and I'll pull this door back off and kind of modify it and make a bracket. Okay, so basically I cut off one side of the hinge and I'm hoping to use this hole as my hinge point. Um, if not, I'll drill another hole. I'll get the door off the fridge here and lay this up on it and see how it's gonna work out. Okay, so here's the door, upside down, fridge. So I gotta do this quick so we don't heat the fridge up. So you can see how this is mold, all molded together. And here's where I glued it with that Gorilla Glue. Um, I'm gonna have to clean that up and make it smoother, but I didn't have any JB Weld or anything, so that don't have to work. So my thought is to use this like that as a hinge point. And I can even turn this a little kind of use that as a hinge point. Let me see here if I can do this with one hand. That hole might actually be a little bit big. It's going to be ugly, but it is what it is. I think I'll do it like that. It gives me a hinge point okay so here's what I came up with and that's just using a little hand saw that I have I drilled a couple holes so this is gonna go on like this here's the pin that goes in the door so it'll ride on the pin just like that and then I'm just gonna put two screws in it we'll try it out it might not be the prettiest thing but it sure beats buying a new door. Tighten these up by hand without stripping them. Go. 
All right, I'm gonna put this back on the bottom where it goes, it actually threads in, and then I'll set the door back in there and we'll see how it works. Okay, there's another repair complete. Um, I wanted to show you real quick. In order to get this door off normally, what you would do is you would unscrew this pin. It's threaded in this little metal bracket. You take the pin out and you lift the door off the bottom. And I, and I show you that because now that I've added this piece, and you can see here where I screwed it to the door. There you go, screw it to the door, and now this is actually the piece that this rides on when this door opens. This plastic supports this entire door, so the metal reinforces it, but it's that much thicker, right? So now this door is that much taller. So the issue I ran into was that these two handles hit when I went to close this bottom door. So I took off the freezer door, and I happened to have two little washers um, the perfect size and I spaced them to space this door up so you can see now and, and this door did sag a little bit from the factory so now it's perfect and here's another pin you screw this pin out with your crescent wrench or, or it's actually slotted at the top for a screwdriver and you just lift the door off so I took the door off put these two washers and put the door back on and now it's perfect okay well we'll see how long this fridge repair lasts um, Hopefully it'll last as long as the fridge does. <laughs> um, I'm not about to buy a door or a fridge just for that little piece if I can come up with you know a quick solution and I think this is gonna work. So anyway, this is kind of a short one, but um, you know, conveniently or whatever you wanna call it, this kind of broke on me while I was thinking about what I was gonna do for this, this week's video. So, so anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions on what I did or, you know, how I made my part or whatever, just uh, leave comments below and let me know. And until next time, safe travels. Bye. Man, I'm glad I fixed this fridge. Now I can get a cold drink. And the door's not falling off.